As one of the only races seemingly immune to the effects of chaos, the Tau provide an interesting counterpoint to all things Imperial. Chaos, however, is unrelenting and will force the fall of this upstart race even if it takes 10,000 years to do so. Tau vs. Chaos Marines. This is 40k in 40 minutes. Greeting fans, your host JT, the voice of play on here with what should be a real battle of the heavyweights. Taunik is back with his beloved faction of choice, whereas Child of Chaos Tycho brings a mixed bag for the Dark God's pleasure in what promises to be a real showdown at the hoedown. I am Tycho, the Child of Chaos, and I am here to kick some Tau butt. Tycho's list consists of a heretic Astartes demon prince with wings, Master possession to one of our named characters, Master Kearney. He's got a cultist mob to hold his objectives, three squads of obliterators, a big squad of possessed, two venom crawlers, and as allies, a beast of Nurgle and a knight tyrant. I checked in with Moobin to make sure that this list was ace, and he gave me two big weird zinchy thumbs up, and uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Tau Nick is back. I'm with my love, my Tau. I need, I need a win with my Tau. I mean, it's, been a, it's been a while. Nick has brought a Kadra Fireblade and Commander Shadow Sun, a Commander in Cold Star Battlesuit, a Commander in a Crisis Battlesuit, a Breacher Team, a Strike Team, a Devilfish, a Broadside Squad, some Crisis Battlesuits with Crisis Shasvray Maeve, another named character, another squad of Crisis Battlesuits with Crisis Shasvray Bork and Otano, a Ghost Kill, some Pathfinders, some stealth battlesuits, two squads in fact. Don't forget the two Tetras, as they'll be doing some guiding and setting up shots for some of his other units. And a Storm Surge with Pulse Blast Cannon. I've got the Storm Surge, he's got the Tyrant, and we're gonna see who can blow up the other first. These are huge point sinks in our army and really linchpins in our strategies. Today's mission is Dawn of War. We're playing Hidden Supplies and Scorched Earth. So it's a long edge classic deployment There'll be the extra objective from Hidden Supplies, and Scorched Earth is five victory points per objective held to a maximum of 10 per turn, and burning an objective is a thing to score extra points at the end of the game. I've got a lot of shooting, so hopefully I can surprise Nick a little bit and go toe to toe with Tau in the shooting phase. That might be a terrible plan, but we're gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna deploy way up on the line, get aggressive. I'm gonna make sure that Nick has a lot of targets so he makes poor choices and splits fire all over the place. And that way I get to shoot all my guns and kill all the tap. Nick is putting everything on the table and not hiding anything in reserve, whereas Tycho has opted to drop his Plague Toad and a unit of obliterators in a deep strike. Looking at the board today, I would like to go second. I would like to be very far back in my deployment zone. I'm gonna deploy really, really far back. Let them come to me and try to get a round or two rounds of shooting at Tycho before he gets close enough to kill me. Having a look at deployment here, and it looks like neither player is really banking on a go first to win stratagem. Both have deployed fairly deeply. Nick's got a lot of guns with good range, and Tycho can advance and charge with some stratagems, so this should be a really interesting turn one. All right, so I'm gonna put this as far back as I possibly can. At 24 inches, it does more damage than farther away. I'm also doing something a little bit different that probably a lot of the internet is gonna be saying, what, that's not optimal. I'm running crisis suits without any cyclic ion blasters in it. Now, these crisis suits specifically are armed with plasma rifle and missile pods, no cyclic ion blasters. But the difference is all their stuff is really long range. So I'm hoping to rely on the range to get me what I need. I also didn't take the shield generators with a squad. Instead, they get fall back and still shoot like that. That is my deployment. I'm ready to go and I'm ready to kill some chaos scum. I am bringing all the chaos scum, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we see who goes first? We shall, good luck, Nick. For the orange grade. For chaos! Ooh. For the town, the greater good! Well, looks like it's all you. Good luck, sir. Good luck to you. Today's sponsor is Frontline Gaming and their Full Color Terrain series. Frontline Gaming's Full Color Terrain series requires no painting at all. Just assemble it and it looks amazing on the tabletop. It'll help transform your games into immersive experiences. It's easy to build to get your games looking great quickly. These sets look better than pro painted with high definition color. 
pictures really don't do them justice. Frontline Gaming Terrain is manufactured in the USA by passionate hobbyists and is designed to not only look great, but also to be fun and easy to use in your games. Make sure to check out the affiliate link in the description below for all your hobby needs. Now, back to the action. I've got first turn. You know what, I don't mind it. There's a few juicy targets and I can bring my guns to bear. I'd like to kill both Venom Cannons and if I kill that Demon Prince, ooh, it'd be a spicy meatball. Before we start the oh. turn, I have a one pre-game move and that oh. is with my Pathfinders. Okay. And because I have first turn, they're all gonna use their seven inches to pop right up on top of here. Ooh. So I got a nice commanding shot of Thanks. not much. Both players will gain a command point as Nick draws capture enemy outposts as well as investigate signals. Not the greatest first turn draw. So Shadow Sun will start it off, the movement phase, mm -hmm. to be within six inches of the Storm Surge, okay. the broadsides, and nine inch, wholly within nine inches of the quarter. Okay. So my Storm Surge is not gonna move because it gets heavy then. Oh, wow. My broadsides are not gonna move because they get heavy then. Uh -oh. My Firewares over here are gonna stay still, and that will let them deploy a turret. Okay. I want to, I've gotta really be careful about how I do all of the things because I've gotta guide with the right things in the right places at the right time, and it's sometimes really annoying <laughs> to do that. These crisis suits are just gonna move so that the unit is wholly within nine. Looks like Shadow Sun is gonna investigate signals. There's a couple of points for Nick and the crisis suits as well. They're fairly short range, so that's not a bad idea. That's gonna score him four points right away. Nick needs to overlap observer and guided units and be mindful of dark obscuration on the Venom Crawlers, as Tycho can make them untargetable outside of 12 inches as they carry the mark of Nurgle. Yep, they got nothing to shoot at. So all these, all these crisis suits are useless. I'm going to have to sacrifice Stealth suits. So these guys will actually advance because I need to get far enough over so that I can see the demon prints. Uh, I got a five. That'll do. Excellent. All right, so they'll sneak underneath this devil fish here. Okay, <laughs> that's all the movement. I've done all the shenanigans I can to try to eke out every shot I can get to try to do some damage this turn. You'll do some damage. I have full confidence in you, Nick. <laughs> all right, let's go. Uh, you know what we're gonna start with? We're gonna start with these uh, these fire words. I'm gonna fire out a line of sight from their missile turret that they just popped down. Right, right into these cultists. <gasps> My poor cultists. Two shots. Boom. Nothing. Come on, that's a what? I killed one. All right, then we are going to go with the stealth suits, Ooh. and they are going to guide the devil fish actually into your demon prince. Okay. Because I have two. Secret missiles, and these are potentially damaging. Uh oh. They're potentially very damaging. That's not so. Good. So it's gonna hit, gonna hit on threes to start with. Okay. Uh, hits twice. Oh no. Oh, do I re-roll that? Is this the time for it? I'm really, really tempted to do it. No. Ah, uh, you. Yeah. Uh, no, there's better things to do. Well. No. All right. So, one one wound at minus three. Ooh. Ooh. D six plus one damage. D six plus one damage to Demon Prince. Oh, that's the one to use the command point on. <laughs> I will use my command point right there. Going down to zero to try to get a higher number than one, and I'm gonna use a different dice. Ooh, I, oh. Yeah. You got How nice shell going? Yeah, there. Ooh. Ooh. Four, so that means a five because plus one. So a total of five damage on the Demon Prince. Down to what? Five wounds left. Ooh, that's not bad, that's spicy. Then we will go with the Ghost Keel. The Ghost Keel is gonna fire everything in that it can be in range of into the Demon Prince. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be guided by the Pathfinders. We're gonna overcharge his guns. Ooh. It's on fives, I believe. Yeah, uh, with cover and a two-up armor, save him, okay. Oh, right, because it only, yeah, very nice, mm -hmm. very nice. Um, however, you don't get cover because they're being guided by something that has a marker light. I am sad. <laughs> so you take three damage. Great, down to two. <laughs> Nothing else to fire here. These guys are all done. Not bad. I brought you down to pretty damaging. I shot your. Uh, they can't shoot. Oh, the Pathfinders themselves. I guess I can fire the Pathfinders themselves. All right. Oh, no. That is oh, three no. hits. Oh no. oh, no. Give me sixes are devastating wounds. Uh, Give bad. me three sixes. That's bad. I got a six. That will be three devastating wounds plus two wounds at minus four. So here are my feel no pains. Well, that's not enough. The rail rifles managed to pick him up. No points for that, but that's a kill. That's gotta be a mistaken deployment on Tycho's part. I guess he wanted to try to get out and around fast, and unfortunately ended up going second and had no way to protect that demon prince. That's bad. 
That's bad. I, I was kind of sad to kill it because you were so proud of him. You were like really was excited to play with him. I really was. Aww. But then you shot him in the face with lots of rail rifles. I was really excited to kill him too, if you that were. makes any difference. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over to here. The Tetras mm -hmm. are going to guide the broadsides Excellent. into firing at the Venom Crawler over there. I am going to use Dark Obscuration. No, I want to kill him. So now you need to be within a foot to shoot at my Venom That's Crawler. That's not fun. Fine! You want to play that game? I will shoot at your cultists with rail rifles. Uh-oh. Bring it! <laughs> Die, cultists! <laughs> Boom! And I waited you four times, and one of them's devastating at minus four. <gasps> I know. <laughs> I lose four cultists. <laughs> My cultists are dead. This is bad. This is bad. And then lastly, for that unit, has missile pod drones. Twos! Tycho will not be able to sticky his home objective now. That's huge! Not everyone knows this about me, but I hate spiders. I hate might be the wrong word. I'm terrified of spiders. <laughs> I do have one more present for you. A present for me, right? That might be a present for both of us. Oh, I see. <laughs> the storm surge yes. is now gonna unleash everything. Right, threading the line. Oh. And I'm gonna guide them by these still suits. These still suits. Just the hairiest of line between these. It's, it's a very from the fine tip of line. your gun. I just just got it between this ruin and this ruin. Let's let's, let's thread this needle for the audience. <laughs> See, right? Like... Into the second venom crawler, lucky shots, and it's down. My goodness. I have lost a fifth of my army in one round. They didn't even get to move. End of my turn, I'm exceedingly happy with my how my army's doing so well. Nick scores four points on secondary, discards capture enemy outpost for a command point to give him one at the end of his turn. That was a really solid shooting turn for Nick. A bit lucky overall. However, Tycho's got some serious guns as well as massive close combat ability. If he gets into Nick's lines, it is game over for the Tau. I'm gonna to have to be aggressive and score some points here, otherwise I'm never gonna be on the scoreboard. Auto Tycho's turn one now, both players gain a command point, Nick to two, Tycho to one, and Tycho's drawn tempting target and overwhelming force. I will make this your tempting target. I want you to come take this objective over here. All right, well, I can figure this out. Tycho's using unnatural swiftness on the possessed here to let them advance and still shoot and charge. Go Ghost Lanesh! Tycho is really hard up against it here. Deploying two units of obliterators limits their mobility a bit. However, Nick usually does run up real close, so that's a bit of a calculated play on his part. Playing the player, not necessarily playing the army. That looks to be a movement phase of sorts. All right, shooting phase? The obliterators are going to use their dark pack of zinch. What does that do? Uh, that means I have to take a leadership test. If I fail it, I take the three wounds. Either way, I get to get lethal hits on my guns. That's really nice. Yeah. There you go. Focused malice upon your devilfish. Leadership test. I have 2d6, right? Yep. They're fine. This means I do 2d3 shots. I'm shooting lethal because I'm zinchy. Hitting on threes. On threes. Wow, one of those oh, games. No. Oh no! <laughs> All right. All oh. right. <laughs> My Venom Crawler here is going to fire at your half fighters. For Nurgle! For Nurgle! Oh yes, we love the Nurgles! Look at that. 11. Of the minus. So that saves two. Two die. Ah. Ah. All right, Tyrant, you need to make me happy. Oh, he needs to do some work. What do you want to kill? Do you want to kill some broadsides? Do oh, you want to kill Can I even uh, see the tetra? broadsides? Yeah, I, I saw you. You could see me. Which would you like to fire at? Or, or would you like to... Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm waiting. Split fire! Editor, expect to see that in there. So here we go. I've got a real chance to do some massive damage. Evol gets to go by Tyrant. <laughs> Three targets. Probably a bad idea, but you know what? When in Rome, it's Tau, you gotta split fire. Short range Meltas into the stealth suits, the hunter killer missile at Volcano Lance of the Storm Surge, and everything else into the broadsides. Storm Surge has a four up invulnerable save. Well, that's awesome. That's a four. All right. So I'm guessing this does a whack full of damage. Oh, this does D6 plus eight. Whoa. I mean, that won't kill him, but that'll wing him. Almost. 
I needed to hit the three on the shots tab. Yeah, you need multiple deaths. Okay, so I have four and vulnerable. I'm hoping to just like slough it off. Here we go, four up! The shields are activated! The guy strike missile. That's a two, folks. This game is not yeah, going my direction. You have a command point. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> oh, overcharging at your broadsides. Nope. You've done six damage then. I have two wounds on the lead broadside. Twin desecrator cannons. Oh, those things. At the broadsides. Got it. More at the broadsides. Force. Uh, save them all. Yay. Uh, two melta guns. Twin linked melta guns. Okay. Into your stealth suits. Looking for twos. That goes through. You wipe out two of them. Ah, oh, Evol. <laughs> you may have failed me for the last time. Uh, because I have used unnatural swiftness upon my possessed, uh, I can advance and shoot. So the master of possession can do some mean things to you. It can indeed. Right of possession Ooh. on your ghost kill. I miss. Oh no. <laughs> Dice can make a story here. I mean, it can still swing the other way. Is this... yeah, maybe, we'll see. Uh... Didn't you see that whole post by Jin that said uh, Tycho needs a nerf? The Tycho, uh, I, I seem to have received my nerf. <laughs> It goes on to the charge phase. My possessed are charging both the ghost keel and the double fish. Yeah. Here they go. Possessed make their charge. They're in. The Venom Crawler is in as well. All right, let's do the Venom Crawler first because he makes all the points for me. We like points. Let's get some points. All right. Four up. I almost saved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know how oh, to make me cry, Nick. Oh, do you I know? know how to make me cry. He dies, he dies. All you take right. the objective. Yay! It is yours. Oh, wow. The Venom Crawler has picked up the stealth suits. That's going to give him extra attacks for the rest of the game. Moving right along. They are going to do a Dark Pact. Okay. Praying to Slanesh. Ooh, we give him sustained hits. That's very nice. Very nice. They love it. You know what? Why not? If I don't do it now, I might never get a chance. So. The master possession is gonna poke, he's gonna take his dagger and shank the possessed guy next to him. Does that kill him? There's a mortal wound to him, oh, okay. but he can ignore it on six. He does not. Okay, so one wound down. All right, so how are you splitting this up? I'm really curious. I'm gonna do everything. That one, can? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, into your ghost keel. And then everyone and else then, into the devil fish. Yeah. Got it. All right, what you want to go first here? Let's do the devil fish first. All right. Devil fish, down to seven wounds left. And now all the stuff in the ghost keel. Can you do it? The past. Kill him now. I can do it. I can do it. Four, six, eight, ten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use both of my drones to cancel two of these dice. All right. So you have four saves to make. I can do this. I saved three of them. He's alive. Oh boy. The ghost keel is in trouble. The drones are dead and he's left on four wounds. Despite losing a lot more assets than Nick, Tycho has got a massive lead already, 10 to four, as he scores tempting target and overwhelming force. That's a really good opening for me. So I'm up on the scoreboard, down in units. I'm gonna have to fight hard to pull back and take out the town. Well, I've lost my stealth suits and I've lost the left-hand objective. However, I've got all my tools still standing, ready to wreck Havoc on Tycho's army in turn two. Now, Nick, first round, the Chaos Gods gave you hope. But second round, they're going to turn it around and I'm going to just, it's, nothing's going to happen. It's going to be great. I'm going to make all my ward six. The all folly of chaos, ladies and gentlemen. The folly and hubris of falling to chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's drawn Storm Hostile objective and bring it down. This is possible, but it's going to mean I'm going to have to sacrifice some units to do so. His Ghost Keel fails Battle Shock. Only five primary for Nick, so that keeps him still behind at 10 to nine in Tycho's favor. I'm gonna risk it. Ghost Keel's gonna fall back. One or two, he kills himself. Oh boy. He's fine. He's just he flies, fine. disembarks, flies, um, and he can still shoot. Same All right, cool. so uh, I fell back with the Ghost Keel. Um, I'm going to advance with the Stealth Suits. And the right. Stealth Suits have a Marker Drone, so he'll still be able to support. Right. They also have a gun drone, which means they have an assault weapon, which okay. means that they still are eligible Ooh, to shoot, which means nice. I can uh, do all sorts of fun things like burn an objective. Hey, you stay away from my pretty little objective here. So okay? I need a two. All right. I need a two on my advance roll to be able all to right. do this. I That's got a three, three. so it's little... just enough. So that will get me right here. <sighs> Stealth suit shenanigan. And then my Very breaches scary. inside my devilfish are gonna get out. All of them are gonna get out and they're all gonna get out right here. Uh, 
lot of Nick's guns gain the heavy keyword if he stays still, so that's going to give him a bonus to hit. Try to down that knight, but the crisis suits have come to play. Are you stuck in here with me, or am I stuck in here with you? <laughs> I'm about to find out, aren't I? Let's fire things! I will survive! You will try. All right, we're gonna start with the crisis suits right here. They've got so many guns. All right. This is the time to use them. They're gonna overcharge their two Sakaka Ion Blasters each. Okay. They're gonna fire everything into these possessed, with one big unit. They're gonna be guided by these stealth suits. Okay, so I will use my Dark Obscuration. So you have, uh, they are stealth now. All right, minus one hit. Four is because you made them stealth. Possessed! Oh, very nice, possessed, very nice. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Very nice. Uh, five get through, four saved. Feel the pains are on point here. He may live. That was a lot of cu killing power that you just ignored there. Five, three fusion blasters. Uh, hit all three, and two of them are sustained hit two. Oh, no. That means I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven melta shots. ha <laughs> Oh, seven melta shots from three guns? Whoa, maybe not. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Each one does D6 damage. Uh, D6 plus oodles, right? Okay. D6 plus two. So the first one does Just, okay. eight damage. The second one does eight damage. He's super dead. <laughs> the third one does four, five, six damage. Second one's super dead. Third the fourth one. <laughs> oh, you almost made it. Super dead. The fourth one does oh, seven damage. And the fifth one does three. Seven, yep, and The last eight. one does only three. Here. So I killed four guys, and the last one oh, almost five guys. survived. Five down. That was good. And then the commander will fire his cyclic ion blasters. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, My plea to the chaos gods did not go with that. <laughs> that so was that. stealth didn't help me at all, did it? I mean, it helped this much. <laughs> All right, so that was the crisis suits. I've got one guy and the possession guy left. All the breachers are gonna try to kill that unit now. Okay. This is what you're here for, breachers. Rerolling all failed wound rolls because you're on an objective marker. All righty, saving on fours. Ignoring on sixes. Quite a couple. Yeah. Not enough though. Not enough. That is what breachers are all about. Split firing crisis suits doing some serious work, but no kills. I uh, take one. Two damage. Moving on. This whole side of the table is done. Now the big guns. Uh-oh. The big guns. Broadside into the tyrant. They are going to be guided by Shadow Sun, okay. who's going to, who's basically going to get the plus one to hit. Okay. Now they hit stood still, so all their rail rifles are heavy. So they get another plus one because it's plus one to their weapon skill and blissful skill and plus one to hit. Okay. Hitting on twos. That sounds unfair. It's awesome. <laughs> Four real gun shots and their one shot secret missiles because I've been saving them. Oh. All at the night. Uh oh. Four real gun shots, hitting on twos, re rolling ones because Shadow Sun's right there. This is where Chaos saves me. Minus four. Evil says no. Evil says no. Well, Evil, eat secret missiles. <laughs> Strike 14. I went on threes this time. I'm in cover. Yep. Three, four, five, back to four. <gasps> Fours do save you. Chaos No! Rings. A five. Chaos. Missile drones. Uh -oh. Three hits, no wounds. All right, the broadsides were a big old pile of whiff. Whoosh. Well, you didn't whiff, but my shields held. Fine. The armor of I chaos. Puncture. Oh, just not enough. Those broadsides, they could have done so much. Well, then we're gonna go with the big boy. Uh -oh. The big chunky boy, and he's excited. He's gonna fire everything, just everything. All weapons, target the Titan, blast cannon. So four damage each, a total of eight damage. Oh no. Ba-boom! All right, well that's not all she wrote because I also have the destroyer missile hitting on a two. That's a hit, strength of 16, so on threes. No, it's a failure! No destroyer missile for you. But a command point says otherwise. Uh -oh. Going down to two command points, re-rolling this, and... It's a wound! Oh! Void shields! However, because this is a unit in range of Shadow Sun, on a five up, I get the command point back. I do not. Still a two. And then, these guys, these stealth suits right here, they didn't shoot. They're gonna burn this objective. So what does that mean? I have to kill them? If they still hold it, in, uh, on the beginning of my command phase, that objective goes away and I score points in the turn. 
Nick's keeping Bring It Down for next turn, and he scores Storm Hostile objective, puts him in the lead 14 to 10 as we head to Tycho's turn two. Objectives are engage on all fronts, and of course, defend Stronghold. Ooh. Def oh no, it's Defend Stronghold. All oh, those poor cultists. Defend Stronghold. Now that's kind of apt, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I saw that one coming. I saw that one coming. Tycho draws engage at all fronts to defend Stronghold and scores 10 points on primary to extend his lead 20 to 14. I've decided that I don't have enough assets to be aggressive anymore. So I'm going to be as cagey as I can be, but there's units everywhere with cyclic ion raking nastiness. We'll see if I can hold on to keep outscoring Nick and keep my lead up. Dropping in to keep pressure on objectives is the plan, it seems, and that's not a bad one. If he can run up the score, he can win this no matter how much Nick shoots. I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. That's gonna get me engaged in all fronts. I will eventually get engaged or defend Stronghold as long as Eval survives. Just to survive. But it seems that staying away from your massive gun helped a little. But he might just have to go after Broadside. But he doesn't have to decide that yet nope. because the Venom Crawler has a bead on your broadsides too. All right. Fire away. Uh, he's going to Dark Pact. Dark Pact. Dark Pact of Nargle. Oh, he loves it at 11. They Three. failed one. Two damage. Ah, oh, you managed to kill him. Yay. Evo, what's the range on your big guns? <laughs> <laughs> Are you out of range? Yeah. No. Well, you got to shoot the Storm Series. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie doodle. Yeah, he backed off. Change the ranges. Awkward. <laughs> big giant gun versus big I giant robot. I guess I could shoot at him with a volcano lance, but that seems excessive. Why not? Can you have excessive? No, you know what? Fine, fine. You know what? Convince me, Nick. You convince me. A volcano lance is going to take out your broadside and then everything else. A uh, volcano lance at your broadside. I like my broadside, don't you? Three Ooh. shots. Ooh, boy. Here we go. Two wins. Nope. That's not a six. What's the other one? Nope. Okay, so that's going to be 22 damage. Woo! Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> that volcano cannon shot could have downed the storm surge. Well, that's how the luck goes in my game today. Broadside's down. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't convince you. Shoot at him with a volcano lance, but that seems excessive. Why not? Can you have excessive? Can you have excessive? Can you have excessive? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Firing at the storm surge. Look at him. Uh, fails to wound. Oh no! Guy strike missile. It misses. And battle cannons. Sixes. <laughs> Minus no. Minus no. Uh, they all be saved. Okay. Evo. Evo! What's wrong with you? And they can see your spell suits. They'll get a dark pact, which will give them lethal. 2d6 shots. And I did great! Two go through. How much damage? Two piece. You killed two of them! One is still on the objective! Ha! They can see your double fish. Sure, there's a little hole right here. You can shoot right through there. 2d3 shots. Ooh hoo hoo hoo! Six shots. Hitting on threes. Ooh, only. Is there a minus? Nope, no minus. Uh, three hits. Um, one of T9. them is uh, lethal. Ooh, one automatically wounds. And I am straight 12. Only one oh one. no! <laughs> I can say this! The obliterators are not obliterating things. No, the obliterators were oblivious. But my whole like trying to outshoot a Tau gun line is not working out the way I <laughs> well, maybe it is working out the way I thought it might. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you're facing some insurmountable odds, you've got to grin and bear it sometimes and uh, make sure that you are doing your best to find the small victories that you can achieve. While Tycho's ongoing defense stronghold exists, Nick definitely has the model advantage, but Tycho's got the lead on the scoreboard. 
Nick's using Command Point, an insane bravery here. That Stealth Suit will continue to hold and score him an extra five points. He sits at three Command Points to Tycho's two. 24-25 in Tycho's favor. Oh, it's Montcalmunga time! It's Montcalmunga time! All Tau players around the world rejoice in turn three. Rejoice, brethren of the greater good, for sustained hits two has cometh. All right, Shadow Sun is gonna move back here. She is going to be able to see the Venom Crawler and try to wipe him out, as well as support the Storm Surge, who's gonna stay still to fire everything he's got at that Tyrant. I'm gonna fire Overwatch Shadow Sun oh. down to one command point. <laughs> you better not do this. I'll be very annoyed. <laughs> she does have stealth, so she might as well hit, but that doesn't matter because it's Overwatch. It's Overwatch time. And I get seven shots per gun, and I've got 14 shots. I'm gonna Dark Pact, so that every one that gets you is gonna be sustained. Here we go! I got exactly two hits. Tycho, Lots of fives. Tycho, Tycho. Lots of fives on something. Uh, You're fine. That's safe. I I'm tried. sorry, Tycho! That could have been so cool. It, it honestly would have been. Like, like game-changingly cool. <sighs> been a couple of those moments. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This guy is so useless now! All right, are you ready for the shooting phase? Are you ready no, for I'm the not. epicness shooting of phase turn three shooting phase? Me well. Yes! The Tetras are going to guide the uh, crisis suits and they're gonna fire everything into the eyeball. So one, two damage each. Oh boy, down to 12. And then the plasma rifles with those crisis suits. The white crisis suits are trotting down the night, no joy. Um, Storm Surge would like to fire. Red suits guide the storm surge, getting sustained two. Storm surge breaks the pain into the night. And I hit them all, and two of them are sixes! Which means I get two dice with each one. It's so good. So that's, that is, that's 10 dice. You know what, Nick? I'm really glad to see some solid rolling out of you for a change. Isn't it nice? <laughs> it's a little bit different. I'm happy for you. Thank you, I appreciate that. Strength 10, so leaning on fives, I believe. I've got four saves on threes. I need to make, I need to make these or I'm dead. Yeah, if you fail them all, you're dead. If I fail all three of them, I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Four, eight, oh yeah. Can you fail three of them, please? No! Come on! Oh, that was one. <laughs> Down to eight, still alive. <laughs> all right, destroyer missile. This would be a great place for another six. Cause uh, this thing's- Terrible place for a six. Give me a six! Oh! Whoosh! Uh, I get to reroll. I get to reroll ones! That's a four. That'll hit. All right, so that's a hit. Strength 16, so winning on threes. That is a wound at minus four this time. Uh oh. You still get cover, yep. Bing! Darn it! Goes the void shield. Ah, oh, man. I was hoping for this, too. All right, well, cluster rocket system's gonna have to do it. Four right. D6 shots. Hitting on twos. Sixes. Considering my luck these days, it probably will be one. Let's see. No way! You just take one damage, but I'll take it. <laughs> Down to seven. Down to seven wins the rating. All right, Shadow Sun's gonna fire everything she's got at this Venom Crawler. Hitting on twos. It's on threes. Ah, oh, what is that? Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a little better. She should have iced this thing. You have seven wounds? Yep. Oh, this is really frustrating. You're gonna get eaten by a spider. I use command point. I'm gonna oh, roll one of those twos. Okay. Into a one. <laughs> yeah, it might be. I'm not gonna use those dice. Use different <laughs> dice. It's a three, it's a wound. At minus four. <sighs> D6 damage plus melt a two. <laughs> Eight damage on a six. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Toad is gonna die. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No way. I'm gonna start with these Pathfinders that are gonna guide the Breachers into these Obliterators. Okay. And they're gonna guide these Fire Warriors into the Toad. All right. So let's start with these Fire Warriors into the Toad. So 20 dice. I take a wound. One wound. Down to six. Down to six. The breachers are gonna fire. Uh -oh. They've been supported by here, so they're gonna hit on twos. Oh no. Spending a command point of point blank ambush, the obliterators are getting pounded here. Down they go. All right. Comes down to the crisis suits. Comes down to them split firing. Okay. I have to wipe out this unit to score max points on the center objective. Okay. I gotta kill this to score max points on bring it down. Mm -hmm. To be honest, killing the Titan is worth more points than than uh, than killing the obliterators. It also denies me for Defend Stronghold. Yes. So, 
Big, big risky split fire here. All the plasma rifles from that unit are gonna go into the obliterators in front of them. Okay. All of the cyclic ion blasters are all gonna go into Ival the gonna be defeated. Defeated many times. <laughs> <laughs> the oft defeated. Coordinate to engage for his last command point. That means that the unit that they spotted for the for the storm surge, they'll still get the plus one to hit. So anything I shoot at the storm surge, plus one to hit. But no minus to shoot at the obliterators. It's perfect. So, plasma rifles first. Uh, one from the commander, hitting on a two. That's hit, and it's also sustained, so I get two. I get the obliterators. Strength eight, so two wounds at minus three. All right. I'm fine. Ah. <laughs> and then the other three plasma rifles into the obliterators, another sustained, uh, and I wounded you twice with the plasma rifle. Minus three. Three damage each. I lose an obliterator. What a obliterator down! And then all the cyclics, all the cyclics into overcharging into Ival the Destroyer. I'm okay. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. In fact, say it with me now, everybody. Go to split fire! Should have shot it all. I should not have split fired! Uh, and then the commander fires his cyclics. I take two. So two damage each, so four damage. Down to three. Down to three. I got close! The ghost keel is going to fire everything into Ival. Keeps the fives. I got a six, which is sustained, and a five, so that's one more. So that's three hits. That's all I need. Fives. All I need. This is strength eight. One wound! That's not enough to kill you, but... Not quite, but... Actually, no, this is three damage. Oh. So if you fail this at minus two, you die. All right. I'm you do get cover. cover. Yep. So one or two, he's dead. Who's dead? Oh, no, it's a command point. Command Now's the time to use it. That's my last command kill point. Kill the Titan. Come on, have all you need to stand. Oh, <laughs> well. He goes down! <laughs> Evol, unfortunately, might need to be banished yet again for uselessness. <laughs> well, there's nothing for it left. Just a few uh, few mop-up operations here, and this, this uh, town will be claimed for the greater good. Yes, they may have taken this particular patch, but guess what? The Koi Pond is going down there in the corner. Like I said, the community center for all the little kiddos will be great. That's a haunted Koi Pond. <laughs> With nothing left in the field to score, that's where we're going to call it. 64-55 for your winner, Tau Dick. Congratulations on your victory for the greater good. Back to the warp with you, Tycho, only to return stronger and even more corrupting. Well done, gentlemen. Special thanks to this episode's sponsor, Frontline Gaming. Make sure to check out our affiliate link below. We appreciate the support Frontline's given us over the years, and by using the affiliate link, you can support them and us. And if you like to support us and like what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases, as well as behind the scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows, and access to our Discord, the most happening 40K community around. Thanks again for watching, folks. I've been your host, JT, the voice, as always, saying, until the next time you see us in the far flung future of a grim dark universe, play on. I finally got my win against Chaos in like, I don't know how long. Fantastic game. Thanks again. Thank you to Frontline Gaming for the amazing maths and terrain. When dice go your way, it just like, everything just comes up Millhouse. Of all the useless. Yes, of all the useless. <laughs> I think he needs to be berated for encouragement. I'm not sure. I tried to be encouraging, but it wasn't enough.